All right, so I just got back from Home Depot with everything that I need to start getting some of the floor in. We're gonna do piece by piece, section by section. It was a little difficult getting it all here, but we made it. Take a look. Got it all wrapped up. Got it up there. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna lay out some quick plans here for you. So I got some studs that are gonna go down over on top of uh, my barrier. I got a little plastic sheeting down over here. And then once I get done putting the sheeting in and the studs in, then the foam board goes in. On top of the foam board goes the plywood, and then we're gonna screw the plywood into the studs. So we'll see how that goes. All right, everybody. So I just got back from Home Depot. Uh, really wish Brianna was with me because it would have been a whole lot easier getting loading up the Jeep with her than the guy that helped me at Home Depot. He just was not smart nor strong nor anything. I'm like, I got a plan. We just got to do it. But anyway, I got that taken care of. The Jeep's here with all of my stuff. I got my moisture barrier down right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start tackling this. I've never done anything like this at all. So we'll kind of see how it goes, play it by ear. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit how I'm gonna be doing some stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna put a stud on the passenger side, the driver's side, and down the middle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I got great stuff, so I'm gonna fill in with great stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my foam boards in between the studs Fill in with great foam again, or the great stuff again. And then I'm gonna, on top of that, we're laying the plywood. Once the plywood's on top, you know, fill in with great stuff where needed. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna screw the plywood into the studs. That way, there's no holes at all going through my freshly fiberglass floor. I mean, that just seems counterintuitive to patch holes, to re-put holes through. That's, I don't get understand that. So we're gonna go with the, loading floor it's not going to move at all i mean it's going to be you know bumper to bumper to the wall plus it's going to be screwed down i mean it's not coming up so i think it'll be fine um i'm kind of following i don't know if you guys have uh, gone to schooly.net at all but uh i think it's jake c's thread he built uh, a floating floor very similar to this that i'm gonna i'm, I'm trying to replicate slash create on my own slash I just don't want to put holes in my floor. So we're going to go with it. We're going to see kind of what happens. I'm going to try it out the best I can. Worst comes to worst, I scratch it and I rebuild something else. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, start cranking out some work here and we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have an idea up here, but uh, getting it from here to here done yeah we're gonna work on that <laughs> but I got a few hours of daylight left so uh, yeah if we can uh, if we can master this piece by ourselves was that with Brianna's help next week or the week after I'll be able to do everything or maybe sooner who knows hopefully sooner sooner is always better than later but yeah I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start cranking some stuff out here let's go get this ball rolling
Success? All right. So I have the uh, studs and foam in as a dry fit. Pretty proud of myself right now. <laughs> it's, it's actually going the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to just keep it up and uh, yeah. Yeah, this is great. I just got to vacuum a little bit and uh, we'll test, we'll dry fit the plywood. And then once everything's dry fitted and I like the way it is, then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna snug it all up and call it good. And potentially go on to round two and move forward. And we'll see, cause I, I don't know if I wanna tackle all that right now. But I might, I might, I'm feeling pretty good right now, so. Yeah, this is great. It's in here. Let me show you guys right. real fast. Check it out. We got our stud back there. Diesel, stud, foam, stud, foam, stud. Yeah. All right. Looks pretty good. I got some spots I'll fill in with the great stuff. And we'll call it We'll call it golden here in a few minutes once we test dry fit the plywood and then go from there. Stay tuned. More to come. Um, but thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to Reese's on Recess. Also, we have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out our website, Reese'sOnRecess.life. We'd love to hear from you. So until then, have a good one. Peace out.